Hello and welcome to the Temps tutorial in the Cofas 2D JF version 3 tutorial series. In this part we'll be looking at positioning using Jump 2. We'll be using the base code from the 7th part of this series. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. Cocos 2D JS provides us with loads of functionality for moving a node. Most things in Cocos 2D JS are nodes such as sprites and menu items. We will look at positioning using, using the jump to method which jumps to a set point over a set number of jumps relative to its original position or you can think of it relative to the screen. So let's just open up our project. You just need to open up the app.js as usual. And first of all what we're going to do is create a variable um, which will contain the action jump to equals cc dot jump to dot create okay so the first parameter you specify is how long you want the action to take I'm going to put two seconds and then you put well the position you want it to end up at so cc dot p I'm going to put 100 by 200 and now you put the height of each jump in pixel I'm going to put 50 now you put how many jumps you want it to take to get there. So I'm going to put four jumps. And now the last thing to do is just run this action. So you do sprite dot run action sprite action. So now we can run this application. So if we just open up our terminal, cd to our project directory. You run the command cocos run dash p web. As you see, it is jump. Now, if we just refresh, so one jump, two jump, three jump, four jump. So it's jumped four times and it has ended up at 100 by 200 pixels on the screen, and each jump was 50 pixels. Little thing to note, you can't reuse actions for different nodes, you, you either need to create a new one or release the old one and construct it again. Recommended that you just create a new action for the different nodes. Little task for you to do, using the screen size variable aka this, that has been used to position the sprite right here so it's always in the center, jump the sprite using it so it jumps the same amount on different screen sizes and the same height as well. This may take a little bit of thinking. But will be well worth the effort as it will help you create more dynamic gameplay uh, for your code so it runs on various devices. The next tutorial will cover positioning using the jump by method which allows your node to jump to a set point on the screen but it will be relative to its current position not relative to its original position. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video, just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.